today today i'm going to be reacting to um carisha young miami's what is this song called again rap freak so first of all the song is not even two minutes but i've seen nothing but controversy surrounding this song and i and it came out last night at midnight and it's kind of early right now so i've been seeing nothing but like apparently she's coming for people in this i don't know what's going on but i'm excited to watch it kind of i saw like five seconds of it on instagram it low-key looked like to me like an explicit video like i don't know if i could say that one here the the actual thing but it looked like like one of them videos that people don't watch in front of their parents like if you're trying to get hot and steamy like that's what you go and watch it didn't necessarily to me look like a video it looked like and i only seen a couple seconds but it looked like it was giving like some bondage like freak nasty type like real rated r type stuff so we about to watch it and then we're gonna see you know what we think about it Oh my. <laughs> okay, so originally, right? Okay, so I, I thought it was going to give late night after dark hour. But, you know, I, I didn't realize it was really going to give. I don't even know if I can put that on here as an overlay. I don't even, I don't want to want to take my channel down. So I'm going to, you know, if you want to watch the video, you have to go watch it. I, I am, I am, I am just kind of, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I thought it was going to be like a, an explicit video, but it definitely surpassed that and and you know not on no hate and anything because i'm all about the sexual liberation of people you know i'm not i'm not on that prude stuff i feel like it's your body do what you want to do live your life you know whatever makes you feel good do whatever makes you happy and as long as you're not hurting anybody hey that's your business and though um it i just felt like it like like what is going on with like music lately that that because i could i could imagine that when she first you know joined into this the music industry that she did not anticipate that she would be making videos quite like this one this is some straight bondage like this this could be on like uh uh the blink and it would it would be in like a soft section but it, it definitely is big like like we like the over sexualization of the black woman and of women period but especially black women is is sickening at some point it, it's like we're we're when are we as a community and as a collective going to uh, I, I don't know maybe like expect more or I, I don't know it seems like it seems like there's some kind of agenda to really push hypersexuality and like I said I I am a free spirit I'm all about the freedom of sexuality and exploring your sexual um experiences however you so choose to and at the same time it's like this i don't necessarily know if this is something that should be on a public forum youtube or on social media where there's children running around like we have to what we have to do something where we're separating what children are exposed to because 
regardless people are gonna be like oh well kids aren't watching this they are children are watching this like let's call it what it is and I'm just like what happened to music being about the lyrics and about the energy that is being left behind about the upliftment about the freedom of sexuality fine do you but like that was a little bit much that was a little I'm slightly offended I'm slightly offended and I have second slight secondhand embarrassment but not because I am judging her because you know hey do you but there wasn't even a warning there wasn't even like when you watch the video it didn't even say hey if you're like warning if you're not a certain age don't watch this and you know I guess I could say well YouTube has its own restrictions blah 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 but at what point are we as creatives responsible for our work and it had her named as creative director so you know I'm assuming Young Miami has some some say in it based on that but it you know like in all them conspiracies when they be like the person has sold their soul and listen I'm not saying that I believe that that's what happened but this video to me seem like one of them conspiracy like I feel like this is a conspiracy in, in and of itself this video if if that is real and if there really is an Illuminati running the music industry then this was Young Miami's I'm in this thing now so if her career takes off after this and she becomes like this mega star then you know maybe there is some truth to that but at the end of the day it it's it's just it's just a little bit disappointing because where is the music that is uplifting us that's has good music that has good beats and and granted I definitely did search this out because I was like well I want to do a reaction to this because I know it's going to be off the chain but I wasn't prepared for the the level of off the chainness and totally like I said not judging no judgment here. I'm just a little bit shocked at how audacious it is because it's like literal bondage. Like that's some freaky stuff. That's some freaky stuff. You know, it's, it's not even all some like, like I'm just laying in the bed with you or something. You know what I'm saying? Like she really like they have whips and stuff like that's some, that's some freak nasty stuff that's some freaky so I, I was just a little bit like oh oh not a little bit like a lot bit like oh because it seems like it's more and more of this type of of um sounds coming out like more and more of less innuendos less imagination let's less like will um let's romance like we'll drive away and do this and learn how what it means when my body does that or does you know what i'm saying like it, it, it's not it's not no imagination to it it's just straight like hey you i want to and, and, and i want you to put your in this and then i'm gonna put my in that and then this is what's gonna happen after that and then we're gonna do this and then we're gonna rob a bank and then we're gonna do something else and then we're gonna cause trouble then we're gonna do it again and then the next song oh we're gonna i'm gonna do this and i want to do that and we can do that and put it into this and do it in that you know what i'm saying like like where's the variation like where where it's like it's like all it's like it's like it's, it's like a rinse and repeat and i feel honestly and this is just from a creative standpoint the lack of originality and creativity in mainstream media is appalling because this is this what amount of creativeness went into this how much thought did it take to produce this I'm just honestly I'm just kind of disgusted and in shock but that's my own personal feelings if if you vibe with it, you F with it, you know, that's, we, we don't all have to agree. We don't all have to like the same thing. So this certainly will probably not be a song that I listen to 
Um, I'm sure there will be people that watch it, not because they like the song, but because they like the visuals. Um, and I just feel in a time where it, where people lives are being ravaged because of the disasters and consumerism in a time where sugar honey iced tea is literally hitting the fan i definitely just feel we could use more of a different kind of energy when it comes to creativeness and i just as someone who is a performer and a creative i just it's a little disheartening to see that this is what we are doing as a collective um yeah that's just how i feel about it i i don't know i thought this was going to be a little bit more of a fun <laughs> video than it turned out to be because <laughs> because i just wasn't expecting all that like i i knew from the snippet that i saw on instagram i knew it was going to be like explicit video vibes but I didn't know it was going to be like that. And it's just, it's kind of like got me like, what, what, what have we come to? This is, this is one of them. This is your king moments. Like this is, this is where we are as a, as a collective. This is cause there was a, like, there's a checks and balance process that went along with approving this video and, and putting it and saying like, this is, this is the song this is the lyrics and this is the concept. This is the video. It, it was a checks and balance process that went into this. So to know that all that happened and this is, this is what they ended up producing. It's to me, it's, it's, it can't be anything more than a publicity stunt because they want her, they want controversy surrounding it because in some, in some worlds, there's no such thing as, as bad publicity. So some people are going to like it. Some people are going to be like, what the heck? And some people are going to be like me and make videos about it. And then that brings more light to the situation. So to me, I think it's a just, I don't even think they really like the song. I don't think that, that anyone even cares about music at this point. It's just about how much controversy can we create? How much money can we make? And you know, who cares about how the music sounds? Like, we're not even going to try to make the song sound nice. We're just going to put something out there. We're not even going to try to make sure that the concept makes any sense. We're not, we don't even care about the creative aspect about it. We just want, we need people talking about Young Miami. We need people talking about quality control. We need people talking about whoever she named in the video. We need people talking about them. Okay, we can make a lot of money like this boom all right then let's get some endorsements it's, it's 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 all about the money at the end of the day and clearly not about the creativity and to me as a as a creative spirit that's the whole offense about it like f all that other stuff i everybody we we know that that's how they coming out it's a salacious world we live in you know it is what it is but the creativity the lack of creativity is offensive because they didn't even try and it, it's just it's just offensive and the whole thing was offending and I just did not I there's nothing about the video that I enjoyed and I actually like young Miami I like the city girls it's the city girls no what I soak it out my face before I granted that song probably ain't even it's not a good song it's not an uplifting song but if you with me i'll take your man but but you know granted we can say what we want to say about city girls but they have some bops but if it's about making money just be honest don't say that you're a musician say that you are a money maker and that's that but it's offensive as a creative to to just just this is this is what this is this is this is what happened so that's why i feel it's just a way for them to cause controversy and get her get her more money and get the co company more money and who cares about the 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 fans who cares about the collective who cares about the people anyway it's all about the money so that's that's what it seems like to me um yeah 
that was a little bit of a letdown. I at least thought it was going to have some cool graphics. That was, that was. Yeah. And, and listen, listen, don't get upset by that. That's just how I feel about it. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Make sure you like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I, um, If you like my pillow, you can go purchase it on my collection. Click one of the links below. Let me know what you want me to react to because I guess this is going to be my new thing because I like talking. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is, you know, we don't all have to agree. We don't all have to to feel the same way about something to have a positive existence so if you're if you're upset by anything i said don't take it personally it's just my opinion on it we all have opinions some are dirty some are clean just like everybody has a butt okay everybody has an opinion and at the end of the day you know um she got to do what she got to do to provide for her family and for her future legacy um and at the end of the day everybody is doing what they feel is their best i guess i mean i don't think that they felt this video was their best at all but everybody is focusing on themselves and yeah i'm all about self-love but at the same time i'm also about the collective experience and community love and i just um am wondering where is the mainstream music that is also geared towards the community and not necessarily towards building celebrities. All right.